and thanks for joining me. I'm Matthew Rondino with Best Buy Canada's Best Buy blog. Today I am first unboxing, testing out, and reviewing the WD Black SN850 SSD for the PlayStation 5 and PC. If you are looking to add more storage to your PlayStation 5 or PC, Western Digital's WD Black SN850 SSD has you covered. This fast, cutting-edge drive packs an impressive punch when it comes to storage and performance. Featuring a max read speed of 7,000 megabytes per second, the SN850 will keep up with your gaming demands. The PS5 has an impressive array of games with remarkable graphics, ultra-high resolution textures, and unprecedented frame rate speeds. Both models of the PS5 come with a base 825GB internal drive, which can fill up pretty fast. Enter the WD Black SN850 SSD which allows you to add another 1TB or 2TB of additional storage space. With the added capacity you won't have to sacrifice any of your favorite games or worry about space when downloading new ones. I'm here to show you how to install the hardware and review its overall performance. Let's dive in. Let's talk about the SN850 and the PS5 hardware compatibility. At the heart of the PS5's architecture is a custom PCIe 4.0 SSD that allows for gigabytes of data to load in a single second. It's a quintessential piece of hardware that makes the entire console such a powerhouse. This also means you can't just use any storage when it comes to PS5 games. It needs to be a compatible SSD. Sony kept the options open for compatible SSDs, but has only officially licensed the SN850 due to the hardware's impressive benchmarks and overall performance. Let's put it to the test. If you're looking for one of the most plug-and-play options, the SN850 is it. Thanks to the included heatsink. The sink is a necessary component for the SSD's thermal management and overall peak performance. Other models require you to purchase and install them separately. It can be a more cost-effective option, but if you're looking for a more effortless install, the WD Black SN850 SSD with its included heatsink is your ideal option. Installing the SSD into your PlayStation 5 is a little more straightforward with the attached heatsink of the SN850, but it still has multiple steps to follow for setup. First, you'll need to use a screwdriver to remove the console stand. I've already taken this step, so you won't see it in the video here. After that though, you'll need to remove the plastic shell of the console to access the SSD storage bay. To do this, lay the PlayStation flat with the PS logo side facing down and the console's ports facing towards you. Once you've accessed the SSD storage bay, unscrew and remove the plate covering the expansion bay. This will open up the area where you need to plug in the SSD. Once you've completely opened up the SSD expansion bay on your PlayStation 5, you are then going to locate the screw on the opposite end. Remove this screw and keep it aside, as you will need it to actually secure your SSD once you have slotted into your PlayStation 5. Now it's time to expand our gaming horizons, or at least our storage horizons, by inserting the WD Black SN850 uh, SSD into the PlayStation 5. You're going to want to take a slightly angled approach as I am here and as you can see when I pop it in at that angle it's going to pop up just a little bit and naturally sit at an angle. That screw at the back we are then going to unscrew it and use this same screw transferring it to the hole now at the top of the SSD in order to keep it snug inside of the PS5 console. As you can see here, the SN850 is now nice and snug inside of my PS5 console. It's nice and secured by that top screw. Again, don't try to force any of the components in or over tighten screws. It could lead to damaging the console itself or the brand new SSD. Just take care and uh, again, don't over tighten anything. Don't force any components. Uh, take your time with the process and uh, follow all the manufacturer's instructions in order to get the SSD uh, inserted and not cause any damage to either the brand new component or your PlayStation console. At this phase of the uh, installation process, it's just putting everything back together again. I'm putting the actual panel back and screwing in the uh, PlayStation themed uh, screw. It's pretty cool, you can actually see the square, the circle, uh, and triangle as well as the X. I love little touches like that, but anyhow, uh, it's ready to go. I just have to return the shells uh, to the actual sides of my PlayStation 5. Uh, I removed both of the shells, both white shells, because I decided it was time for a new splash of color. 
totally optional, but Best Buy does offer all of the uh, cosmic colors for your PlayStation 5. Now that we know the uh, SSD is secure inside of the console, it's time to add a splash of color with some starlight blue console covers uh, courtesy of PlayStation Canada. No, your eyes are not deceiving you. The beginning of this review tutorial, my PlayStation uh, console covers were white. Now they are starlight blue. Uh, this is an extra step, an optional step took a little bit more time to take both covers off but uh, decided to do it while well, I had the PlayStation 5 open and doing the SSD uh, review and testing and installation guides. If you decide with this process like I do to give your PS5 a bit of a uh, colorful glow up, it's just one more extra step outside of actually replacing the SSD and you can pick some pretty cool colors uh, to give your PlayStation 5 a splash of color. At this point, I've put the covers back on the PS5 and we're ready to roll when it comes to plugging the console back in. The moment of truth will come though when you boot up your PlayStation 5 for the first time after this installation. You will know if you have done it correct because the PlayStation 5 will automatically recognize the brand new uh, drive and ask you to format it. So here's my PlayStation 5. Uh, plugged in, all reconnected, powered up, and as I mentioned before, this is the actual screen that you're hoping to see after you install the SN850 or any other SSD. Immediately the console will ask you to either format the M.2 SSD or not to format it and you can immediately turn off the PS5, but we're going to go ahead and format the actual drive of course so we can start using it so we can shift around games and expand our gaming catalog. The SN850 is a powerhouse when it comes to performance. With a read speed of 7000 megabytes per second and a write speed of 5300 megabytes per second, this drive will keep up with your gaming needs no matter how demanding they are. I tested out games like Cyberpunk 2077 on both the internal storage and the external SN850 SSD and there were no noticeable differences between playing off the internal drive or the 850. With its lightning fast speed, you can load games up in seconds and enjoy seamless transition between areas without any noticeable difference in loading between external and internal drives. In terms of space and speed, in my tests I used The Last of Us Part 1, a 68.76 GB game. It only took 56 seconds to transfer from the internal drive to the external drive. Breakneck speeds like this made file management take minutes and not hours like it would with older drives. I highly recommend the WD Black SSD drive for your PS5 or PC. It will help to instantly level up your high performance gaming storage. I'm Matthew Rondina with Best Buy Canada's Best Buy blog. Thank you so much for watching. Game on. Uh -huh.